A dramatic new video tonight showing the moment police take down a suspect and potentially break a tri-state crime spree case wide open. Good evening, everyone. That crime spree involves the theft of at least 75 cars. Local 12's Luke Jones is in Blue Ash tonight with more on that video. And Luke also spoke exclusively with the suspect's grandmother. So what did you have to say, Luke? Well, it may not come as a surprise to those watching, but she says her granddaughter's not the criminal here. It's those two teens who were in the car with her. And as you're about to see, things got pretty dangerous as they tore out of this parking lot straight into a police cruiser and took off at speeds police just couldn't keep up with. Caught on camera, the moment this big lot's parking lot becomes a racetrack. The car was probably going 80 to 100 miles an hour. A woman and two teens spotted in a stolen car Sunday in Blue Ash. <laughs> clipping a police cruiser as they hit the gas. These suspects aren't worried about anything but getting away. And perhaps for good reason. Police believe the driver, 21-year-old Adasia Parson, is part of the car theft ring we've been warning you about. More than 75 cars stolen across multiple states. As many as 10 stolen or recovered in Blue Ash alone in the last month. I'm so hurt. I cried, I cried, I cried. Parsons' grandmother crying, she says, because her granddaughter is innocent. She claims one of the teens was giving Parson a ride and at some point asked Parson to drive since he didn't know where he was going. It wasn't her car. She's got a car. Why would she be in a stolen car? So you don't think she knew it was stolen? I don't think she knew it. But she clearly knew the chase was over as police clamped on the cuffs. After officers lost sight of her, they say she and the two teens left the car outside this auto shop about a mile away. They took off on foot, but neighbors quickly gave up their hiding spots. Parson is charged with receiving stolen property and failure to comply. But the two teens, ages 14 and 16, aren't being charged. It's hard to prove that occupants of a car know that the car is stolen um, unless you have evidence that they know and they're not cooperative with us at this point. And it's worth noting tonight, police say Parson isn't cooperating with them either. At this point, too early to tell just how many people are involved in this theft ring. Police do say they're working with other police agencies to try and piece this whole puzzle together. Live in Blue Ash tonight, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. A lot of tough stuff to sort through there. Thank you, Luke.